Hello, I'm Tommy Schultz. You know, with the kind of year 2020 has been, it makes sense to look back at a simpler time of a decade ago to when I released the first part in my first of four behind-the-scenes documentaries chronicling the Tosa West Theatre productions I was appearing in. Ten years ago, our fall production was Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella. My first stage appearance overall, following The Music Man Jr. at Whitman Middle School in 2008, and Annie at West in 2008, and The Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon at West in 2010, with this production, I strove to capture the making of the production, the behind-the-scenes banter, the spontaneous funny things that happened unseen by audiences, so that we could always go back and review these happy times for years to come. Moments like this. <laughs> and how about... And who could forget... <laughs> Filled with insightful commentary on only the most important aspects of production... Well, the tech people are making something up here. It is probably the set. You can't see any of the orchestra because they're not in there. And thus the day begins. And thus the day begins for us. And thus the day begins for the actors of this production. We gad. Well, according to the sign, we are here. That's pretty informative, folks. We go into the harsh rehearsal of practice for day number three. Day number three. Hmm. Seem to be storing speakers and such in here and chairs and a sponge. Thus alone, speakers falling on the floor. Why, nobody knows. Gee, let's see what's going on through here. Well, there's a truck and an open door. Yeah, not much unusual about that. Today we're doing something a bit different for practice. We're having a sit and sing with the orchestra today. And it's gonna be great. Now, if it isn't a random hole in the ceiling. Well, if it isn't another random hole in the ceiling for no particular reason. Well, there's another random hole in the ceiling. They seem to pop up so often this time of year. Interviews with many willing participants. He is one of the most important. Oh, never mind. Well, there goes another chorus member. No, he's not a chorus member. He is the steward. Off he goes. Mr. Calvin J, could we get a few words? Mr. Calvin J. Mr. Calvin J. That lift isn't a Mr. Brian Condon. And there he goes. Off the door. From our cast and crew with meaningful questions and daring answers. Why are you videotaping someone doing a puzzle? Because it captures the essence of the behind the scenes of this production. Okay. Alex, <laughs> it doesn't fit. They're not well gasp. What's happening? Oh dear. The day, the grind. The grind? The grind. Well, is it oh, Mr. Isaac yes. Mitchell? What are you doing no, here today? No, my name is Isaac Michael. Mr. Isaac Michael. We the 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 put it to the center. Put it to the center. You know what? I'm just turning this off. <laughs> Mr. Brian Conn, you. Not let anyone up by the board. And someone's you. sticking their hand in my camera. <laughs> Whoever that guy is. How are you, Mr. Alk? No comment. No comment? What? Mr. Alk, I didn't even ask you anything. Arg. What is the meaning of this? Well, two of our tech people are here, and uh, they are here. This reason is now goes it's captured the true essence of the behind the scenes. Oh, that's cool. Now here, see here, audience. The, see where Andrew Elby is going with it. Well, now he can't see Andrew Elby, and he is hiding from the documentary. Oh, not that! Mr. Clown, you cannot walk smack dab into our camera when we are... Or it isn't an Alec Karts, which is certainly more realistic than Mr. Matt trying to... Hello, Mr. Alcart. Mr. Alcart. No Mr. Alcart, no what do you mean no comment? This is a documentary, Mr. Alcart. About what? If you not... 
What do you think it is about? It is obviously about the theater program. And well, if it isn't Mr. C, C, who has finally arrived, is for some reason not shouting into the camera. That's what? kind of odd. When we get in this camera? But, well, when no, we this no, camera? actually, I'd when prefer we you did, Mr. C, C, okay. because that is... You need to tune up your banjo there. Well, let's see what this typical youth has to say about this production. Hello, typical youth. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say about this production. It's Brian over there, also his dead body being trampled upon by the typical youth of today. Mr. Calvin J., you're confusing the kiddies. What kiddies? The kiddies who are watching this program. I didn't and know possibly I... the dogs as well. And the goldfish and the hamsters. And whatever know. sort of pets people will have in the Midwest area. Why are cats watching this film? Well, I don't know why would they have a YouTube account in the first place. That's the real question. How they even got to the computer in the first place or and or broke into my house and stole my camcorder before I'm able to edit this down into a reasonable length. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you're just making stuff up. Now see here, Mr. Calvin J. Mr. Calvin J., it's people like you what causes unrest. Particularly the points made by one cast member in particular, namely Matt Zanton. See what Matt's doing at the moment. He's sitting down and enjoying a nice no. beverage. Oh dear. The appearance of being in this documentary has apparently killed Matt. Or maybe not. I don't know. Apparently Matt has to say something. What do you have to say, Mr. Matt? Why have you... Matt? Matt? Well, this isn't very realistic at all. Matt wouldn't just randomly collapse. Okay. Um, well, evidently, Mr. Matt wants to make this a very fictionalized documentary about the theater, or else he wouldn't be doing things like this. But just, yes, it's just Matt lying on the floor for the purpose of the documentary. Even though, quite frankly, well... Matt thinks right now. Hello, Mr. Matt. Now, please don't die again like you've kept... Oh, well, there goes Matt. Again. Okay. Oh, Matt is dead yet again. Matt, what else do you think I'm going to do? Matt, no, no, no! Oh, confound it. Stop dying every time. I try to... Mr. Matt, you are not going to die every time. Oh, confound it. Now, Matt, what would you want to say to all the people of the world? Well, they probably won't watch it because my YouTube channel is... Oh, dear. Oh, no! Ah! Matt, that's a very bad habit of yours to die when you're being interviewed and all, and never mind. Well, Matt's too dead to tell you what you've done, Mr. Brian Hunt, at the, um... Okay, well now they're both dead, and our typical youth here is just pushing their dead bodies over. Why would you do that, Mr. Typical Youth? Um, okay, we can't get an answer out of Matt. This is rather a hard surface to... Oh, dear. Now, you know how this works. I turn this thing on, and I point at you, and then you get all, uh, and then you fall over like that. The ongoing struggle against a somewhat hostile stage crew. Booga, booga, booga. At Tosa West Theater. Oh, oh, no. It's another one of those tech people. Mr. Steve again. And there goes his... his shtick. There's some of our tech crew not doing much at the moment. People are being tech people at the moment. And oh dear! In the middle of our active construction site, there are! Well, apparently there is too much active construction here at the moment. Get out of here! Oh dear. Our tech people seem to be very agitated by this film. Because whenever I try to film them, they go berserk and then start attacking. Whenever I try to film you tech people, the whole place just burns down to the ground. Now, why do you think that is? What? 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 Get out of here! Now, now, see here. Get back in your hole. There, what? I do not live in a hole. There is an orchestra pit, which is not quite the same thing as a hole. But it, it, now see here. Well, if that's a hole, then that would most certainly be classified as a cave, no doubt. Because now Down see... There. Oh, dear. I wonder if they're still... Yep. 
Well, let's see who's about to open this door. Oh, dear. Um, well, I think that's all we need to see of the tech woman. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I don't think they'll find us in here. So. Okay, they did find us in here. Yay! And in will be. Well. They don't seem to be doing a very good job, now do they? Nope, still there. Actually, nope, it's still there. Just kidding. Nope, still there. Just, hmm. Well. Well, there's Mr. Jack randomly walking. Oh, well, nope, still there. <laughs> this is amusing. Nope, nope. It's still there. Is that Mr. Tyler? Well, Mr. Albie, Mr. Albie, you don't seem to be doing very well on destroying this flat. As it's still in one piece. Well, okay, now that, that, that's better. Apparently, we have recorded something that is an illegal work of the theater. Thus, we will continue to record it, but from a distance away. Yep, there he goes again, smashing things to bits. And yet, they're totally unaware that I'm over here. Personally, if this is against the rules, they're not being very subtle. There's no subtlety at all about smashing platforms, old platforms. We got two bits in the middle of broad daylight with a large mallet outside of a school. There's no bit of subtlety involved in this whatsoever. But no, I, I really don't know why this would be against the rules or anything. So I'm pretty sure they've done this to all their old flats and whatnot. And yeah. Well, they're making better progress on it, as we speak. That's better. As well as other dangerous aspects of production. Well, there goes Mr. Trojan, walking along the theater seats. Jimmy Crow is sneaking about. <laughs> How do you do, sir? Hmm. This is a Mr. Alucard who is rather unaware of the imminent danger living under... While still time for the occasional song and dance. Well, um, here goes Mr. Steve with a crowbar again. Uh, why he has a crowbar with him, I really don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, Chris giving him another ball. Very thin twist when you take your ball. Real um, handsome, a little bit tall. 62 2 book, we got Alice uh, Hart. Yeah, we're a little happy. Uh, to the job Mr. Mr. C.C., I... Yeah. Um, God, your name. Well, uh, With the wind of uh, Vladimir. Uh, Carl Alexander, Francois Reginald. Um, we call German, German, uh, a bad uh, name is Herman. Herman uh, Gregory James. How long is this, Mr. C.C.? Uh, Mr. C.C., Mr. C.C., what was the meaning of making a rap out of the, because the songs we of the play? Right. And even occasionally, the actual rehearsal process.
kind of times you look back being glad that you were part of this community of people coming together to make something special. Behind the scenes. And thus the door closes on another edition of Behind the Scenes. And thus the day comes to an end on Behind the Scenes.